Today I'm going to show you how to prevent Sniper from dumping your token on its launch. I'm going to show you 4 plus 1 extra tips on how to prevent, how to avoid snipers to dump your token. You should know that it's impossible to block them 100%, okay? Uh, at least in Solana it's possible for example in Ethereum but in Solana it's not available yet. But doing these steps I'm going to show you, you can kind of prevent them and minimize their impact on your token on your liquidity pool. The first one is sniping your own liquidity pool. Basically it's creating your liquidity pool and buying your token in the same block, in the same transaction so you will snipe before anyone else. Okay, this allows you to be the first buy-in, so the price of buy-in for all the snipers will be higher so they can thumb that much. The second one is tokenomics. Making quality tokenomics is really important for your token in the short and in the long term. Even more, they can help you to protect your own token on its launch from snipers. If you don't know how to design tokenomics properly, here you have a tutorial too on how to do it from zero, okay? But also here you have some tips that you should take on account in order to avoid snipers when crafting your tokenomics. First of all, you need to take on account that most token launches between 30,000 and 60,000 market cap, okay? This is important when you design tokenomics to calculate the market cap you will have for its launch. Also, you need to take on account that most tokens are between 60 to 90 percent of the supply on liquidity pool at least that applies for meme coins in utility tokens it's kind of different okay also you need to take on account that the more liquidity you add the less the snipers can affect your token price okay these are kind of some tips that you need to take on account anyways as i said in the video i showed you on how to create your tokenomics I give you much more information on how to do so. As the third thing to take on account when preventing a sniper, we have having buying pressure. It could sound obvious, but as much buying pressure you have, as much people you have interested in buying your token with when it launches, the less the snipers will dump your token and they will help to, you know, make a balance between the snipers buying and dumping and the people buying to make the token grow, to pump the token, etc. So it's really important, uh, it's more difficult because you need to make marketing pre-launch but it's also really useful for the long term of your project. The fourth one would be launching with authorities enabled. This is not good for your investors if you are doing pre-marketing and you wanna people buy from the beginning, it's not the best option because you can rook basically so people won't uh, believe you. The problem for investors is basically that you can rook because if you have the mean authority you can mean more supply of your token. If you have a freeze authority, you can even create a liquidity pool. But anyway, you would be able to freeze the token account. Uh, so yeah, basically, if you launch with authorities enabled, if you launch without burning the LP, snipers will be less. Because basically, if you never use a sniper, you set which tokens you want to snipe. And for sure, it's more dangerous for them to snipe tokens with these authorities enabled. So if you plan to launch and then start making the marketing, this could be a good option if you don't want them to train your liquidity. Anyways, you can test with this, but for sure, if you want a success launching your token, you need to revoke the free authority, revoke the mean authority, and burn the LP after launching it. And as extra tips, I got you these ones. These are kind of less relevant, but could be useful if they fit to your plan. The first one would be using a larger mean order size. When you create a login per book market for then creating your liquidity pool. Anyways, if you don't know yet how to create a liquidity pool, here you have a full tutorial on how to do that. Anyways, use a larger mean order size allows you to exempt those microtransaction bots that will be buying 0 0.0001 Solana of your token and selling the whole time from trading your token okay so that would be a good option if you want to avoid them also another good option could be adding liquidity gradually if you launch and snipers train your liquidity and dump your token you can add more liquidity later so you know most tokens launch between 1000 and 10000 dollars of liquidity if you don't have too much liquidity available maybe you can do that step by step gradually be adding your liquidity that depends on your tokenomics on your plans this is not actually the best strategy but it's an option to 
avoid snipers. And the third one, and most important for those projects that actually have hype pre-launch, would be don't announce the liquidity pool launch date. For example, we got Stream, launched it on a stream, and we got a sniper that bought almost $100,000 of the token and then sold for almost $3,000. That happens because we was we were doing that on a stream, we were doing the launch, everything transparently on a stream, and snipers were waiting to buy. The first sniper that bought got the token to one million market cap and then dump and made the token go to 200,000 market cap so far. So you need to take that on account if you really have too much hype pre-launch. You need to avoid to announce the liquidity pool launch date and also about to give you the contact address until you launch to avoid those snipers so that's all for today as you know launching a token and make it successful is really difficult but dealing with snipers in these ways will be much easier for you as you can avoid them from dumping to create food on your community that are buying and got losses at the beginning so this would be my best tips to you thanks so much for watching and see you in the next one bye bye